The clone brush is a very powerful tool that allows you to paint over an object and make it disappear by duplicating a section that you have selected prior. This is called retouching a picture. It's like the object was never there to begin. You can also do the opposite and duplicate any object that you choose as a source and paint to copy or clone that source to a different area. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I would like to show you how easy it is to retouch a picture. I am going to start this tutorial by showing you how to remove objects from an image. First, let me copy this photograph. This way I'll be able to compare the two images later when I'm done and show you the before and after. This one will be my before. I'll lock the layer and turn it off very quickly. I'll work on the copied image. Let's go and grab the clone tool. Go to the choose brush preset icon. Here I want you to make sure that the all tag is selected. At the bottom of the panel, in the search bar, I want you to type clone. Depending on the brush packs you have uploaded into your Krita, uh, you will get one or more results. I am going to choose this one and uh, no worries, all of them work the same, it doesn't really matter which one I choose. So to clone it's uh, very simple, uh, you just need to press on your control key on the keyboard and uh, click on the canvas to select a source point. Uh, the source point is uh, basically what you want to copy from. The only thing left to do is uh, use a brush as you always do and uh, start uh, painting on the canvas. The brush strokes will uh, slowly reveal the source image uh, you copied earlier. When you retouch a picture, go slowly and maybe use a smaller brush to get more precise. Here I am going to remove the cable from the wall. To make it look more realistic, I will have to make sure to choose several source points between the light and dark areas on the wall. You can also use the clone tool to add objects from an area you selected prior and move them into a new area. If you do it right, you can make something that wasn't there look like it was always there. Now make sure to select objects that will make sense. Look at the lighting, the size, the position and move them where they will make sense. So I already duplicated the image and this one will be the original, so I'll lock it and turn it off. Just like earlier, I'll work on the copied image. I am going to duplicate rivets on this helmet and clone them into a new place on the same helmet first. I'll increase the size of my brush and zoom in. All right, now what about uh, adding a few rivets on that helmet? This is the before and after. So I hope this little demonstration was helpful. As you can see, the clone tool is very powerful. You can use it for photographs, but also on your paintings and on your pencil drawings. Please make sure to come back on the channel as I am creating a new challenge. Until then, have a great week creating art. Au revoir et à bientôt.